What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over Code Forces round 696, Puzzle from the Future, Division 2. Okay, so basically you have two numbers A and B, their length of N. Okay, and A and B just has digits 0 and 1, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to add A and B together, and then we're going to call it C, okay? That's what it is. Now, um, what Michael's going to do is that he's going to remove all the consecutive digits which is like digits side by side that are the same and we're going to call that a new number d okay now uh, unfortunately we lost the integer a before we could calculate d so now what we want to do is we want to find the any arbitrary number a of length n such that d is the maximum as possible i'll actually go over go over what i mean by that so like we have two integers a and then two integers b right so let's actually go over an example so here, let's say we have um, 0, 1, 1, 0 is A. So 0, 1, 1, 0. This is A. Okay. And then B is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. So these are, this is A. This is a number A and this is a number B. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to have C is going to equal to A plus B. Okay. That's what this is going to do. So what, what this is doing is that it's just going to add them up. So this is going to be, um, they actually calculate this for us. I think I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do math myself. Okay. Whatever. Uh, one plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. One plus one is two. Uh, zero plus one is one. Okay. So this is going to give us C. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get another integer called D. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the, uh, create a new, new number D it's going to get rid of the consecutive numbers. So here, uh, the consecutive equal numbers. So like we have one, two, one, one. Basically what that means is that it's going to repeat the repeated values. So it's gonna get rid of the repeated values. So we have one, two, one, one. So if I get rid of the repeated values, I'm just gonna have one, two, one, right? Cause one was repeated, this one was repeated. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So that, that's what this number D is, okay? That's what this number D is. So now, now the problem is asking is that uh, unfortunately now, um, Mike lost to the original a, so this original value of a, he lost this, right? This is, he doesn't know what this is. Okay. Um, but he does give you B, right? So he gives you B. So he tells you what this is, what this, this, this value B is. And, um, he wants to know what a value a, what is the value of a? to maximize this D, this number D, right? So this, we want to make this as large as possible, right? So we want to make this D as large as possible, max largest as possible. So we want to give you, uh, we want to find this, the A such that this D is as large as possible, right? So when you add A plus B and then you remove the consecutive equal numbers, this D would be as large as possible, okay? Okay, so I actually don't remember what I put, but I did solve this during the contest. So uh, let's, let's just actually just go over what I did. Okay, so how do you solve this problem? How do you actually solve this problem? Okay, so remember, we have to think back what the problem statement is asking. So they want this D to be as large as possible. So how do I get D to, as large as possible? Well, think about, think, I think he's very good. Okay, so remember we have this value of B, right? We're given this and uh, we need to get this value as large as possible. So what is the largest possible value you could have, right, of D? Well, the largest possible value you could have, because these are all zeros and ones, they're just zeros and ones, largest possible values if there is there are all twos, right? Do you guys understand? Because if, if I had like one, 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 and I add one, 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 like assuming both of these are, assuming A and B are just as large as possible, like completely as large as possible. If I add both of them up, there's going to give me a bunch of twos, right? Because we know that from the input statement that A and B only have digits zero and one. So the largest possible I could actually have is going to be a bunch of twos, right? So how do I get a bunch of twos in the end? Well, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a bunch of twos, right? Because we don't know what, uh, what, what what's going to have right because it could be a bunch of twos it could could not be but we do know what b is right so we we know what b is b is one one zero one right b b is a value they give us they give us this right so if i want to get the largest as possible 
given that this b now is not um, not um, if this b value is not a bunch of ones, what do I have to do? It's like simple, you, you would add by a bunch of ones, right? You would you would take b and you add a bunch of ones, and the reason why is because th think about this, to get to ma the maximum possible you could possibly get, right, with a bunch of ones in a bunch of ones, right? If you add them together, there's a bunch of twos, right? All, all twos, right? Because we have only digits zero and one. So the maximum possible value of A could be, this A could be, right? Because given this B, it's just gonna be a bunch of ones, right? So what did I do first? So first uh, in the code, what I did was, I first created a new a new string. This uh, I actually messed up this the notation of B and A, but just just uh, this is supposed to be A. Okay, so in this case, I just created a f initial string of all ones. Okay, of A to have all ones. Okay, so in initially A is going to have is A is going to have is just going to be filled with all ones. So here it'll be all ones, right? And uh. All ones the length of n because we know what uh we know what the two strings lengths are right we know they're both lengths of n so i'm i make them all ones okay so now what do i do what i do is i take this string of all ones right and i uh add it with my string of b so here uh remember what was our string of b uh i don't actually remember what was the example they gave us okay so the string of b they gave us was uh zero one one zero I think no no one one zero one 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 zero one okay so one one zero one okay so what I do is I take a I fill a bunch of ones and I add it to b okay so th these are this is just basically basically implementing it right the maximum possible value I could have if a is just all ones I just take this and add it with b so I add these together so this is going to c is going to equal to both of these add together so it's going to be two right two uh, one and then two right two two one two okay so that's that's just that's just adding the two numbers together so that's what uh i do here right i create a new string see it's going to equal to uh uh the string of my uh the input value of b plus equal to uh converted the uh string of a converted right so uh this b is actually supposed to be a just don't mind it, right? This is just a bunch of ones, okay? So what we do is here, what this code is doing is it's going to convert, uh, it's gonna loop through, loop through both of the strings and it's going to convert it to uh, the number value, right? Cause it's a string, I read it as a string. So I'm gonna convert it to its original number. So this is just gonna convert each individual digit to its digit values and it's gonna add them up and it's just gonna convert into a string. So that's what the C is gonna equal to. Okay, now what do I, ha what do I have to do? Remember, we have to get rid of the get rid of the values, right? So we have to uh, the the problem doesn't end here because uh, if you look at back at the problem statement, look look back at the problem statement. Um, we have to get rid of the consecutive equal digits in C, right? So if they they have the same digit. Right, the same digits of like uh, is it one one zero zero. Right, we have to get rid of that. If we get rid of a digit, it makes the values super small, and that's not what we want. Right. Remember, we want to make the digit D as large as possible, maximum as possible. So we don't want equal digits in our answer. So if we go back to this, if we go back to this case, right? Our answer, like if I just just guess that A is going to be all ones, right? What's this going to do? It's, it's going to get C is equal to 2212, right? But then our D, remember, our D is going to remove the, the, the equal consecutive digits, the ones that are right next to each other and they're equal. So what this is going to return is it's going to get rid of this 2, and because th this 2 and this 2 are the same, right, it's going to get rid of this 2. So it's going to give us 1212. One, and this is way smaller than C. Remember, we want our D to be as maximum as possible largest as possible right that's that's what they want so we cannot have consecutive equal digits here two two one two we cannot have consecutive equal digits so how do i make it remain maximum as possible without completely getting rid of um without uh, the uh, without just changing it completely right just uh just getting rid of the consecutive digits how do i make this d as maximum as possible right 
Simple, we don't allow consecutive digits in C. So in when we see 2212, we don't allow that, right? We don't want consecutive digits in C. So how do I prevent a consecutive digit in C, right? If What do I do? I'm going to subtract one from A, right? So whatever digit that was repeated, this 2212, right? 2212, this two was repeated. I'm going, instead of having this A as a value of one, I'm going to have this A as a value of zero, okay? So that's going to prevent, that's going to get rid of this consecutive digit. So in this end, uh, this two is actually going to be a one, right? Because we have uh, zero plus one is going to be one, right? So this sum is now actually going to be, it gets rid of the consecutive digit and we will have two, one, one, two, right? Now let's look at this next one. Okay, we have one, one. Well, uh, we, we don't actually have a consecutive digit here, one and two, one, one, two. These are not consecutive digits, right? These are not uh, equal digits. These digits are not the same, not equal consecutive digits. So we're done. Right. So if I want to print out the original value, it'll just be a now. I have the max the the right value of a to add to b to get d as large as as possible. Right. Because in this end, in the end, this d is not going to be two one two. It's going to be two one one two. Okay. That's what this d is going to equal to. That's what this d is going to equal to. So in the case of our example, what I did in the code. Is basically just that. So here, um, here we, what I do is here is, uh, here this C is just, is just created by adding them together, right? And then here, uh, I check if there's a consecutive digit, right? So I loop from one to the end, and if it, if it is equal, I'm going to replace the value with a zero in the original value. So here, in the original value of A, I'm going to replace the original digit set is going to now equal to zero, right? So that's what this does. This is, this does. So this this loop checks if 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 I find a consecutive digit in my new C value, right? In new C, I'm going to set the original value of my original value of A is going to be equal to zero. Okay. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to a C as I'm uh, for the value of C, I'm going to convert it into its uh, number format. Okay. Uh, if the uh, update the new value of C. So what this does is the C originally was two. I'm going to change it into a one, right? That's what this does because uh, now the updated value is going to be zero plus one is going to give me one. Right, the, the, this place of zero plus this place of one is going to give me one. So that's what this does. Okay. So that's what this C does. It updates the value. Okay. Then what I do is I'm going to update it again to check of um I, I I run this again, and the reason why I run this again is that um sometimes you we don't actually uh there, there's some issues that might occur with some few test cases. Uh, that might occur. So I, I basically do this again in case if I had like a repeated digit that needed to get removed. Okay. So that's what I did here. So yeah, I pretty much did, I said C equal to an empty string and I just redid this exactly one more time. So I basically just uh, update, uh, add, up, add up the two values of A and B again, call that my C. If, if the value is equal to a repeated character, right one next to each other, I'm going to set it back to zero of my original value to be zero. And then I just print out the value and that's going to get you the optimal a value added to B such that this D is going to be as large as possible. Right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. That was pretty much the gist of it. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.